Hello friends, welcome to Power Plant Guru YouTube channel. In today's video, we will understand why expansion loops are provided into streamlines. Expansion loops are known by a different name also, like U bend. So U bend and expansion loop are the same thing. So let us understand what are the purpose by which they are provided into streamlines. So friends, I am a mechanical engineer having 20 years of experience in power plant. I keep on creating very small fundamental knowledge series for power plant uh, uh, new engineers. I keep creating short videos so that people can understand. And if you have any question in detail you want to understand, then you can ask those questions in comment section. I'll be happy to reply. And if you like same type of content, please subscribe to the channel. So friends, today uh, we have come up with a important topic or a very commonly asked topic in different interviews also. That why the steam lines are provided with uh, bends or loops, expansion loops. So uh, these expansion loops are provided basically to uh, cater the requirement of thermal expansion while the pipe is hot. So uh, we know that uh, earlier uh, uh, before the boiler startup the temperature is around uh, ambient. So we can understand the temperature would be around uh, 40, 35 to 40 degree. And when the boiler started the main steam line temperature heats up and it goes up to 550 degree. So then there will be around 500 degree rise. So for that rise, how to accommodate the temperature uh, exp uh, uh, expansion due to the temperature difference. So every point, every piping comes with a different kind of support. And here in this case will be, we will taking example of anchor supports and sliding supports. So anchor supports are those where the pipe is permanently fixed. You cannot move this point of the pipe as the, there will be shoe uh, welded on the pipe and that shoe will be fixed on the ground. There will be some kind of uh, support, uh, fixed support like uh, here some uh, like this, uh, like this and there will be ground some support and it will be like this. So you cannot move that. So it is fixed with ground and this is here and there will be around 3, three, three to 5 mm gap. So uh, this point is fixed while here there will be sliding support some uh, some rest kind of support will be plate will be there where this pipe can move in this direction while in uh, heating up or can come back to this position uh, while the uh, line is uh, uh, cold or getting colder. Yeah, so uh, those loops uh, we were talking about. So let's say uh, we have, we will take an example of uh, a mainstream line where the mainstream temp uh, original the line temperature is 40 degrees and uh, the uh, line the temperature goes to 540 degrees. So uh, that 500 degree delta will give definitely a, uh, a rise to the expansion. So how to calculate the, that expansion? So expansion is uh, the delta L would be the original length into uh, this coefficient, coefficient of expansion into delta T. So uh, let's say we take example of 50 meter from here to here so 50 meter if it is the original length then you can take uh, any example let's say i'll take example of alloy steel where the coefficient may vary from uh, material different grades of alloy steel and maybe in between 9 to 15 so for sake of uh, keeping easy number i am taking 10 and this is 10 to power minus 6 this is the whole coefficient uh, this is this is the whole coefficient so and 
delta t so delta t is what 540 degree minus 40 degree so whatever it is coming 50 into 10 into 10 to power minus 6 into 500 so this is the number which will come to the total expansion of this function and let's say we if if the line is fixed at both the end uh, and there is no loop so what will happen the uh, here it is fixed here it is fixed but the line is getting extended or expanded so the line may have uh, left its original position and then line may be distorted something like this so to to avoid this kind of situation these loops are provided and in this case what would happen here if you see the expansion loop is provided in between so what will happen the this piece will come here and this this piece is also come here and there will be uh, whatever delta whatever delta is there it is bit uh, uh, whatever is the delta it is consumed by this expansion loop so that is why the loops are provided otherwise if you see uh, there is no expansion loop provided then the only pipe is there which has to take care of the expansion and it will distort it will distort its original uh, shape and size so that it may come out of support that is why uh, this kind of loops are provided and these are some sliding supports where the pipe will be rested and getting a sliding without friction some kind of friction will be there but it will slide it will slide on these supports but these two supports will be fixed as these are the anchor supports and in between there will be u loop to consume the whatever expansion is there in between the lines and there is another important concept of uh, drains so normally wherever is the steam uh, expansion loop depending upon the position of loop let's say the loop is like this so line is getting uh, position up here so let's say there is a less flow less flow or valve is closed for some time so what will happen what will happen is Uh, uh the steam is not flowing or there is a less flow then what will happen as steam is having very high temperature and atmosphere although it is insulated although it is insulated but there will be heat loss there will be heat loss heat loss to ambient temperature or there will be heat losses between uh, friction of the pipe so there will be condensation and those condensation may not be able to reach to the top of this loop and going traveling here so that is why in this position there will be a drip leg there will be a boot boot kind of arrangement where the condensate will accumulate condensate will accumulate like this there will be water accumulation and those water accumulation can be drained can be drained by a assembly called steam trap so there may uh, is coming a concept of steam trap so in this position you will definitely find a steam trap bootleg bootleg is attached to the steam trap and you have to keep a precaution while charging if you are uh, if you have closed this valve earlier you to open this valve and if you don't drain if you drain it then very good if you are not draining this then what will happen there will be flow going in this line and there will be a tendency of turbulence and this water may come up and go along with this pipe so there is a water hammer water hammer concept is coming so water hammer will come and there will be lot of noise in the piping there will be lot of vibration in the pipe so really a hammer like sound you will hear so that is why before 
charging steam into the line you need to drain all the condensate first try to open the valve fully let us drain all the water and keep it little bit throttled once you see the steam is coming out and then you charge the line so this is also com very common at every expansion loop that is why i am covering this topic in this expansion loop uh, matter also uh, friends thank you uh, this is uh, all for this topic if you want to understand any further concept you can please ask me in the comment section thank you thank you for uh, watching this video